Welcome back to the AT&T Cybersecurity Video Series. My name is Shira Rubinoff, and I'm here with Todd Waskelis, AVP of AT&T Cybersecurity. Today, we're going to speak about the future of cybersecurity, privacy, security, and society. Todd, welcome. Thank you, Shira. Pleasure to have you. So, Todd, what is next in cybersecurity? And a key question really is, will cybersecurity and privacy be strategically woven into every important area of a business? Uh, without a doubt, right? Um, in, in the core of what's next in cyber and riding on the tails of digital transformation, you know, the underpinning of digital transformation is really building digital trust. Correct. And in order to build digital trust, you have to have strong cybersecurity. Um, but the other pinning of digital trust is going to be about privacy. We see increasing regulatory guidelines and controls coming out. Uh, consumers are uh, very concerned about their data, right? And so ensuring that privacy is woven into the strategy of cybersecurity and woven into the strategy of digital transformation is going to be critical for every organization. Correct. I couldn't agree more. And certainly now everyone's taking notice across organizations, not only within the businesses, but up to the boardroom knowing that cybersecurity has to be addressed and looked at very specifically. How are organizations modernizing and architecting a stronger cyber future? Yeah, well, it's interesting to see what organizations are going through, right? Um, obviously, the big move is to cloud-based services, taking technology outside of the, the walls of the organization and relying on, on third-party environments. Uh, there are a lot of challenges that come with that, right? Especially when we talk about digital trust and you talk about, about privacy. Uh, from an organization's perspective, implementing technology such as zero trust and more and more companies moving to uh, controls like SASE, where you're moving those controls closer to the, to the cloud environment and you're putting granular controls over access to that data is certainly uh, a path that we're seeing many organizations moving to. But I think it's critical that as organizations make this transformation and they move to more cloud-based services, they, they truly understand the impact of privacy and cybersecurity from their providers to ensure that they're meeting those, you know, regulatory guidelines or meeting the controls and the expectations of their consumers. I think you just highlighted a very important point here that they need to understand the security from their providers. Sometimes the trust is just put in and understood, but not really understanding what it really means. So I'm glad you highlighted that. That's very important. So. What do organizations look for in consulting services and what do they look like for in a provider now that we're speaking about that? Yeah, I think the interesting thing about um, where organizations are today going from sort of this COVID post COVID environment to what the new normal is for them. They, they're looking for, you know, more fast track, more ambitious moves, and they need to be highly secure. They need to be agile. Uh, and many organizations just don't have experience in that space. And so we see an increase of companies reaching out two trusted advisors who have helped other similar size and vertical organizations go through those transformations so that we can, they look for a partner that can sit down with them and tell them, Hey, you know, these are the things that you're going to be uh, running into here are the challenges you'd be seeing. And here's how we solve those at other organizations. And here's how we can help you solve that along the way. Uh, going in with a trusted advisor or a partner who's been down that journey before uh, helps, uh, bring an organization to ease, gives them the agility that they need and helps move their business forward. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Seriously, not, why recreate the wheel when you can go with somebody who really has the experience in it and can guide them down the road. So Todd, what are the outcomes and benefits that organizations are expecting to achieve with a better cybersecurity posture? Well, certainly digital trust is, is critical, right? As we look at the omni-channel environment where we're engaging uh, consumers uh, across the business spectrum, that, that's critical, digital trust. Um, I think resiliency is other the, the other big area, right? Um, I think that organizations have to step back, look at the impact of COVID and how that hit them and be prepared for that next, that next event and make sure that they're, they're resilient and ready to go there. But I think overall, if you put that together as a picture, it's, it's really less about security, although that's critical, right? And it's really more about managing the business risk and all of the different aspects that impact that business risk. Well, that's certainly important because when looking at security or cybersecurity, you have to take really good focus on the business as a whole. And it's not just let's look at security itself, but look at the business as a whole and how security impacts it and what you need to do around that. Well, Todd, thank you very much again for your very important share. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank <music> you.